Hey everyone, it's Miss Catherine from the Warrington Branch and today's Virtual Kids Club is sea turtle tracking. We are going to watch a video created by Clearwater Marine Aquarium, which shows you how volunteers help keep track of and protect loggerhead sea turtle nests out on the west coast of Florida. A big thank you to them for letting us use this video. After we watch that, we are going to read part of this book, Follow the Moon Home, and then I have a quick little DIY craft for you guys that you can pick up at the library while supplies last. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how volunteers help protect and keep track of loggerhead sea turtle nests. Hey Lauren, what's going on? We had a pretty bad dish, so we're just looking for hatchlings, but this guy we found and he's pretty lethargic, so we were wondering if you could take him back to the aquarium to have the vet staff look at him while we're finishing out here. Of course, we'll go take him to get evaluated. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. So basically what we do is we, can they crawl, are they active, any abnormalities, um, we check if their eyes are open. If all that's good, then we um, say he's good to uh, go out tonight. and is safely back in the ocean where it belongs. So thank you very much for your support. Pretty great video, right? I know when I watched it, I learned a lot. I hope you guys did too. All right, we're gonna read part of this book today. This is Follow the Moon Home and it was written by Philippe Cousteau. So this book is based off of a true story, a true project that was taken on by a group of volunteers who noticed that baby sea turtles, their, the hatchlings, were getting lost on the beach in South Carolina. Instead of heading to the ocean to follow the moon, which was the brightest light in the sky, they were getting lost by going out to beach houses because the lights were on inside the houses. So a big project to help get people to turn off their lights at a certain time and keep them off during sea turtle nesting season helped protect all of the loggerhead turtles that were the hatchlings that were getting lost. So like I said, we're only gonna read a part of this book. So we'll jump into here, which shows you how there was a class 
project and that community action was needed. So the class was given a project to identify a problem, plan a, a solution, take action, tell the story, and then reflect and think about the project. So Vivian was a brand new student in the school. And so then she goes out to the beach and she says, oh, let's make a big giant hole and we'll play in it. And a stranger says, um, it's nesting season for the sea turtles. You know, you shouldn't do that, which we shouldn't because if the turtles get in the hole then they struggle to get back out. So whenever you go to the beach, I know it's fun to make sand castles and stuff, but make sure that you fill your hole back in when you're done. So that way we help protect the turtles. So let's jump to right here and we will see that this part is where Vivian figures out that there is something wrong. She says, as darkness fell, we could see bright lights winking on one by one along the shore. That's it, I said. The lights in the beach houses are the problem. Why is that, mom asked. When baby turtles hatch, they follow the strongest light they see, I explained. So if they head away from the sea, they get dehydrated and die. And then so the story goes on to say that they paid for printing their flyers and things. Then they invited volunteers from Scoot, which is South Carolina United Turtle Enthusiasts, to a town meeting, and then everyone had a whole bunch of ideas on how to solve a problem. And so if you guys wanna find out how this story ends, I encourage you to come in, check the book out, and take it home so you can find out exactly what happens. All right, we have a quick craft. Since we read a book, we have a color your own bookmark. I went ahead and made the shark one since this is ocean themed. All you will do is you will get a bookmark. They're all, there's a four different choices. Five, I'm sorry, five different choices for you to choose from. And sorry, four different choices for you to choose from. And you will just simply color, fold over the edge that it has, peel away the sticky and push down. And then you have a little corner bookmark, like so. Pretty neat, right? We have a sloth, a unicorn, a shark, and a dinosaur. Well, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Virtual Kids Club. See you soon, bye.